Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, Phoebe, thank you so much for being our host. You are amazing. Can you guys see me okay? And we're gonna get started. This is what we're doing. We're making chocolate chip cookies and it's gonna tie along with Jesus is Savior. And by the end of this, you're going to be able to share the love of God with your friends and family. And you're also going to be able to eat a sweet, delicious treat. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your mixing bowl. So I'm using my KitchenAid. It's over here to the side. It's going to mix everything. So first, we're going to add all our ingredients into our mixing bowl. So first, we're going to start with flour. So go ahead and get that. And you're going to add two cups and three force cups. And when you guys have done that, I want you to go ahead and let us know on the chat that you are ready for the next step. Okay, so we added our flower, and our flower today is representing Adam and Eve. And so why is it representing Adam and Eve? Because Adam was made out of the dust, out of the ground, and then Eve was made from his rib. And that's going to go along with our story today. So when God created man, he created him perfectly, and then he created woman, Adam man. And so we're going to go ahead and read in Genesis. If you have our Bible, you can read along or you can take a piece of paper and pen and you can write the scriptures down for later. First, we see in Genesis 2, 7. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. Genesis 22, this is going to be talking about Eve. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to man. Adam and Eve lived in this beautiful garden, like God gave them everything they would need. But something happened. Do you guys know what happened? Okay, I'm going to tell you, I see someone said, no, what happened is, is Eve got tempted by a snake, okay? The snake represents Satan, okay? So the snake came along and was talking to Eve, and it was Satan, and it was giving her the idea that what they needed to do would be super sweet and awesome, and that's eat from a tree that God had told them not to eat from. God said, you can eat from every tree in this forest, but you cannot eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so our next ingredient is salt, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and do half a teaspoon of salt right into your bowl. And while you're adding it, let me just tell you, have you ever mistaken salt for sugar? Oh my goodness. When you mistake salt from sugar, you think it's going to be so sweet. And then you put it in your mouth and it's not sweet. Salt is good in little bits. But that's what happened. Eve was told that that tree was going to be so juicy and sweet. And so when she saw it, she just had to have it. But what we learned is that it was not so sweet. So go ahead and add your salt to your bowl. And let's go ahead and read Genesis 2, 16 through 17 to see exactly how Eve was feeling when she saw that tree. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. 
How many of you guys know if Adam and Eve listened to God? No, that's right, they didn't. Let's read in Genesis 3, 6. When the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it too. Eve was tempted and she thought it was gonna be sweet, but it wasn't what happened. It ended up bringing sin into the world. So before we talk more about sin, I wanna talk about us. And today we have baking soda right here that represents us. And we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of baking soda. You guys can all see that. The reason baking soda represents us today is because it, have you ever felt baking soda? It's super smooth and soft, just like a baby. So when we're born, we're super smooth, soft. We haven't made any mistakes yet, but then we get older and we start to make mistakes, right? And what are those mistakes called? Those mistakes are called sin. And so Adam and Eve brought sin into the world, but then when we're born, we also sin and so today we have two ingredients representing sin and it's going to be your brown your up oh, sorry the first one is going to be your vanilla extract does everyone have some vanilla extract i want you to get it and i want you to smell it mm, it has kind of like a funky smell huh some people like it but if it's too strong it's just too strong and you're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon, okay? So go ahead and get your tablespoon and add that into your bowl. And vanilla extract today is going to represent our small sins. Small sins are things that we do that we don't get in a lot of trouble for, but they're still not right because God has asked us not to do them. Do you guys know some things that we get in a little bit of trouble for and still aren't the right thing to do? Yeah, you guys are super smart. So that brings us to our next ingredients. Our next ingredient is going to be brown sugar. And you're going to go ahead and add one and a half cups into your bowl. Brown sugar is gonna represent the big things we do wrong, the things that we get into a lot of trouble for. I don't know about you, but I love brown sugar. So I was kind of hesitant about it representing big sin. But sometimes that's what sin is, right? It looks so good and it tastes so good, but it just isn't right. So once you add your one and a half cups of brown sugar, you're ready to move on to the next step. Before we do that, I want to read you the scripture that goes along with that. So in the Bible, it says that all sin and fall short of the glory of God. And that's in Romans 3.23. What does that mean? It means that God knew that we were going to make mistakes. So he knew that we were going to need something. He flooded the earth with Noah and he said, I'll never do that again. But people kept making more and more and more mistakes. Just like sometimes we do things and we ask for forgiveness, but then we do something wrong again. So what happens is, is God was like, you know what? People need something better. They need something better, which is going to move us right into our next ingredient. It's butter. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but butter makes everything better. Just like Jesus 
makes our lives better. So go ahead and take your butter and put it right into your bowl. that's so cool when we're born we start to make mistakes but then we know that jesus was sent for us and he was sent so that we would have a savior let's go ahead and read john 3 16. this is one of my favorite scriptures and i'm sure you probably know this scripture but if not we're going to read it together right now for god so loved the world he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That is good news, boys and girls. You see, Jesus came to make our lives better. And we know that he died on the cross so that we would have a free gift of new life. And so that brings us to our next ingredient. You should have two eggs. We're going to go ahead and take those eggs and we're going to go ahead and crack them into the bowl. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to crack those eggs in, just cause I know cracking eggs can be a little bit hard sometimes. So when we accept Jesus into our hearts, we have a new life. We are a new creation. And so that's why it's so important, boys and girls, to know how important it is to have Jesus in your heart. And I hope after all the sessions that you're learning, that you're learning exactly how to do that. Because it's super awesome to know about God, but God wants you to know him and be in relationship with him. Let's go ahead and read in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old passed away. Behold, the new has come. Another great thing that comes from what Jesus did is that we have an opportunity to be forgiven for the mistakes that we make, forgiven for our sins. And so our next ingredient is sugar. I don't know about you guys, but I love sugar. It's, it's a problem. But um, remember, everything in moderation, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add half a cup of sugar into your bowl. And our sugar today represents forgiveness. Forgiveness, because even though we make mistakes, what happens is, is God pours over us and comes into our heart. And what happens is, is he makes us better. He takes away all our stain and he takes away all the things that we've done wrong. He's carried it, the price is paid for what he did on the cross. So we're going to go ahead and read Acts 2, 38 through 41. Peter replied, repent and get baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. God wants us to accept him into our hearts and then get baptized so that we can be forgiven from our sins. And so guys, our last ingredient, which is the sweetest ingredient, is our chocolate chips. And you're gonna open up that bag and you are going to add the whole bag into your bowl, which is a lot of chocolate chips. And the re reason our chocolate chips represent the Holy Spirit today is because the Holy Spirit 
makes our life sweeter, just like it makes these cookies extra sweet. We're gonna get ready to mix this up. But now it's just a big mess. Can you guys see that? Like, it's just all over the place. It's not exactly what it's supposed to be. You see, God comes into our life and he begins to guide us and mold us because he wants us to discover our purpose that we could go out and be boldly and talk about him. So what does he do? He guides us through the word of God. How many of you guys have a Bible? I love the Bible. I love the word of God because it teaches me, teaches me how to live my life so that I can give honor and glory to God with my words and actions. So guys, now that we are at our last step, I want to read Acts 1.8. And it says this, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witness in Jerusalem in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. God wants to give us power through the Holy Spirit. How do we show our love to others? We're kind, we're compassionate, we're generous, we're faithful. There's all kinds of things. I don't know if you've ever learned about the fruit of the Spirit, but those are all the fruits of the Spirit that the Holy Spirit provides us. So now we're ready for our next step. We're gonna go ahead and get our mixers. Do you guys have your mixers? Sorry, I'm dropping stuff over here. We're gonna go ahead and get our mixers and we're gonna put them in. Guys, when you mix this, you wanna mix it on low, so give it some time. If you don't have chocolate chips, that's fine. You can absolutely make this without chocolate chips. I saw somebody was gonna be adding nuts. That's super awesome. But you wanna mix it on low and you don't want it to be smooth. You wanna mix it just enough so that it's a little lumpy and chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mixer on. Hold on just a minute, technical difficulties. Well, guys, this is how, why we have to improvise. My mixer is not working. I do not know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it by hand. Oh gosh, if I can get this out, that would be awesome. This is my luck, okay? So this is just how my life goes in general. It's okay. So if you are mixing it with your hands, well, welcome to the party. Okay, so you're just gonna take your whisk and you're gonna mix it all around. You wanna mix all the ingredients around until they're completely blended. And then when you're done mixing, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go ahead and put ready in the chat. And our host, Phoebe, who's doing an awesome job, is going to go ahead and help us move on to the next step. Guys, this is gonna bake more than 12 cookies, by the way. It's gonna make a lot of cookies. So we're gonna make 12 to start out with, and then you can make more if you want to make more later. So you can get a Ziploc bag and put the extra dough into, um, the, into the Ziploc bag, and it will be a sweet treat you can have later, or you can make them all today and have cookies for the rest of the week. So guys, this is a perfect example of earlier. Um, if something, you don't have a mixer, you can always use a fork, which is an alternative. And that'll mix all the ingredients very well too. Okay. 
Okay, it still looks like a lumpy mess. So I'm going to go old school and do it like my grandma, and I'm just going to use my hands, but I have jewelry on, so I'm going to take that off. You want to make sure all the ingredients are mixed in, guys, okay? Especially the flour. And it's going to make your hands super messy, so just bear with me. Okay, is anybody ready? Are your ingredients all mixed? Okay, I see a couple already. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next. I'm just gonna clean my hands off really quick, guys, because they're super messy. I had to do what my grandma taught me when I was little. The mixed cookies. So once your mixture is all together, guys, you're going to go ahead and take a teaspoon, okay? And when you do that teaspoon, what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your baking sheet. So I have to go grab my baking sheet. So um, I'm going to have Phoebe answer any questions that you guys might have, and I will be right back. There I go. So I do apologize. I disabled the chat and that was not good. So I apologize. So let's go over the ingredients. Ready, done. All right, let's see here. I hope you can hear me. Thank you. You guys are so sweet and kind and patient. I appreciate that. No ready. Milani, let's see, one teaspoon. So let's see here. For ingredients, I hope you guys have that oven preheating right now. Let's go over the ingredients, okay? <laughs> Who's a salty? <laughs> now remember, for salt, it's half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I know teaspoon and tablespoon, they're two different, um, two different sizes. So we wanna make sure you are putting half a teaspoon of salt, okay? What do we do after mixing? After mixing, I hope that when all is in your bowl and nice and mixed together, um, that's where the parchment paper and your cookie sheet are gonna come in hand. Um, Tablespoon is Lucia. That's a very good question. Tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon. <laughs> a teaspoon of salt. We're going to need a teaspoon of salt. Now, we will need one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Okay. If you don't have parchment paper, it's okay because if you don't have parchment paper, a little trick that I used before when I was out, I would get a napkin and make sure you have your parents around, okay, to help you with this. You get a napkin, you put a little bit of oil on your, sh on your cookie sheet, and then with that napkin, you can just spread around your oil if you don't have parchment paper, okay? And that's completely okay. Abigail, I hope you're doing good. 
Um, I just see that you needed some help. Maybe you can type in your question. If you need any more help, I try to send you the list of ingredients. Hopefully that helps. And it's good that your family's around you for support. <laughs> yep. Kaylee, we're putting that on okay. the cake. Okay, Phoebe, I'm ready. Awesome. All right, go ahead, Pastor Kim. Hey guys, so you're gonna have your cooking, your baking sheet, and you have parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, it's fine, guys. I've made cookies on cookie sheets without parchment paper for most of my life, so you're gonna be fine. Um, but you do wanna get a teaspoon. I'm using my measuring teaspoon, and we're gonna go ahead and do big scoops, okay? So you're gonna take your cookie dough mix, and you wanna do a big scoop, just like that. You guys see that? And you're gonna put it on your cookie sheet. I'm gonna hold it up when I'm done. You wanna make sure that you're putting your cook, you're spreading your cookies apart, okay? At least one inch apart on your sheet. Let's see, about that much. These are gonna make the perfect chocolate chip cookies. And so you can guys see. I'm putting three in a row. That helps you. And you're gonna do one inch apart on both sides, okay? So on the side, and as you put them on the paper. Okay. Oh my gosh, how many of you guys like to eat raw cookie dough? So good. I mean, you're not supposed to because it can make you sick, but a little bit's fine. Whenever I go to the ice cream shop, I always get cookie dough ice cream. It's delicious. How many of you, this is your very first time baking chocolate chip cookies? Nice. You also want your cookies to be pretty much the same size. That's why we use a, like a heaping teaspoon because you don't want them to be too big and you don't want them to be too small. So when you're done, your baking sheet will look like that. Full of delicious chocolate chip cookies. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and let everybody take them to their oven. If you did not preheat your oven, that is fine. Go ahead and preheat it now. We're gonna do some Q&A. And we're just gonna hang out with you guys for just a little bit while our cookies bake. And then when they're done, we're gonna have a taste test and see how they turned out. So I'll see you back here in just a minute. Alrighty. Debra, how long do we bake it? That is a very good question, Debra. We're gonna bake these delicious cookies from 10 to 12 minutes. And we're saying 12, I'm sorry, we're saying 10 to 12 because every oven is a little bit different. And so we wanna make sure that they're nice and good and ready to go. Elaine, no, I can't see you guys but the texture of the cookie dough 
um, it's not going to be as um, soft. It is going to be, it's going to feel a little bit hard and that's okay because that's the exact uh, texture that we want. I know Benjamin asked that question earlier too. Very good question. In the oven, Rachel, yay. This is so awesome. We are so happy that you guys decided to do this with us. Abigail's making ginormous cookies, experimenting. Yes, that's what we want, guys. Recipes are great to follow. And I know a lot of you guys didn't have some ingredients like chocolate chips. Hey, maybe chocolate chips without um, the cookie without chocolate chips. It's a whole new cookie, right? And that's okay. What church are you from? I am from a church called New Life Church in Bakersfield, California, here in the West Coast. And Pastor Kim and I, um, we do kids ministry there. I'm in Cali, Alexa, yay! Ooh, someone is adding chia seeds and raisins. That is so cool. What size spoon? You can just get a regular size that you have in your in your drawer, mm. and that's completely okay. And just a little dollop on the uh, baking sheet. What temperature on oven? Three fifty. Hi, Pastor Kim. Hi. Okay, guys. Are you putting them in the oven? Awesome. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and shoot questions if you have any questions for me. And you can ask anything and I'll answer you. Go ahead and type them in to the chat. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Oh my gosh. I love that you guys are adding special ingredients. Yes. I love when people get creative and just make things their own. So that's perfect. You can add nuts. I saw somebody who's going to do that. Butterscotch. There's peanut butter chips you can add or white chocolate. Ugh, all the things. All the things. I love them all. They're going to go ahead and bake from 10, for 10 to 12 minutes, guys. So make sure you put your timer on. I've already set my timer. So we're going to hear it beep when they're done. She said... Eight minutes left. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Yes. Cool. So you guys must have put yours in before me because mine's got a little bit of time. Ooh, someone added peanuts, Pastor Kim. Wow. Listen, guys, peanut butter. Kenya added peanuts. Love, love, love. That is you guys have any questions? <laughs> you guys are so funny. I love it. Can I start over? <laughs> yeah, here's the deal. You can absolutely <laughs> start over, but uh, make sure you clean out your bowl first. But maybe there's something we can help you with. What happened? Did something happen? Rome, I see a scripture going up, Romans 12, what was it, 1 through 12? Tell me more about that. Ah, uh, that's super sweet. Baking cookies for your friends. Yes. You love my hair? Aw, uh, thank you. It's a, it takes a lot of time to do this. It's usually, it's naturally curly. So I've strained it. Oh, somebody used to go to New Life. New Life in Bakersfield? Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, good job, that's awesome. Joshua, I've been there for at least 21 years. I, yes, you can, you can start over. Your dad was on the worship team? 
wait, I must know you guys then, because I was the worship pastor, uh, Jim's assistant, for four years. He played the bass. What's your dad's name? Yes, I've definitely made plain cookies before. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, sugar cookies. Those are my son's favorite. Awesome. Oh, Matthew 5.22. Yes, I love those scriptures. So good. Seven minutes left. I'm waiting for mine to beat because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see that far. <laughs> Robert, okay. Oh man, I bet you I would bet money that I know you guys. That's so funny. That's awesome. I love it. Joshua 1 9. Yes, that is a very popular one. I just want to say to those that are in Hawaii, Man, if there's any place in the world I'd want to be right now, it is Hawaii. I went one time for a pastor's conference, and let me tell you, I did not want to leave. It was awesome. Oh, I saw that. Isaiah, yes. Yes, it's so beautiful. Hawaii, yes. Nice. You're gonna bake, you're gonna bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. I think I put mine on 10 minutes. And does it say I have two minutes left? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. But don't quote me on that because well, <laughs> I'm like, because that's a whole other ball game. Oh, I'm gonna pray for your stomach. I didn't see who put that in the chat, but I'm gonna be praying for your stomach. That was Deborah, Pastor Kim. Okay, we're gonna be praying for that. In the name of Jesus, healing, healing on your stomach right now. Yes. Guys, when you pull your cookies out of the oven, make sure you have oven mitts, something to protect your hands because your uh, baking sheet's gonna be super, super hot. So make sure you go ahead and have something to grab that with. And if you don't have a cooling rack, that's okay. You can go ahead and let them sit and cool on the cookie sheet, but they do need to cool for 10 minutes before you eat them. Uh, if you love warm, hot chocolate chip cookies, you could probably wait five minutes, but um, they'll need a little bit of time to set. So you want to wait just a minute. I'm getting so excited. Is anybody else's house smell like cookies right now? Ah, I love it. So good. Nice. Yes. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> Cake is good too. True story. <laughs> yes, Jake. Jay, you keep asking if you can start over. You can start over. Do you, what do you need? Do you need help? <laughs> you're gonna add some flour. Two and three four steps. Then you're gonna add a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. Then you're gonna add two eggs, 16 tablespoons of butter or one cup or two sticks, whatever you got. Oh, slow down, <laughs> slow down. Oh my gosh, I, Lydia, I wish I could, okay, you guys, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a picture and I want you to make sure you post it on the Foursquare Instagram page so that I can see them because I can't see you right now and I would love to see how your cookies came out. So post a picture, make sure you tag Foursquare, NextGen, 
Instagram.com in your post. And then I will take your post and I will add it to my story. Yay. Okay. So mine just beat. So I will be right back. Her cookies. Yay. We are ready for them. No clue how to use Instagram. You can also do Facebook if your parents maybe have Facebook and with their permission, they can take the picture and then um, do Facebook Foursquare. square. And Pastor Kim is taking out her cookies. That's why she's giggling that way. <laughs> They're ready to go. <laughs> oh, gluten free Amelia. Good job. Nanette has Instagram. Wonderful. <laughs> Jamie, three more minutes for you. Good job. You guys are doing really great. Oh, for Olivia, four minutes. I love chocolate chip cookies, guys. They're just my favorite. They're so good and traditional. Hallelujah cookies. Yay. <laughs> A uh, fun fact that I uh, about cookies is that it's America's favorite dessert. So um, we love cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness. They look so good and they smell so good. Okay, I'm gonna show you mine. And listen, if yours did not turn out like this, it is fine. Everybody's are gonna look a little bit different because we all have different ovens. We all put them on our cookie sheet differently. But there's my cookies. Can you guys see those? They're so delicious looking. Yum, yum, yum. So you're gonna let those sit and cool for five to 10 minutes, guys. And then you can taste them. Oh, I love, somebody made organic. Yes, 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 awesome. I love it. If your guys' cookies are done, I want you to type in the chat. I want you to type cookies done. Oh, okay. So Jay, you, you started late. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be doing this again at one o'clock. So if you started this one late and you want to do the next one you can hop on at one o'clock because we will be doing it again at one, okay? Oh my goodness, love it. Somebody did two trays? Oh girl, you are going to have a lot of cookies. Okay guys, we have, we're almost done. We're gonna wrap up. I hope you guys' cookies come out so great. Before we get off, I would love to pray over you. So let's go ahead and close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time with this group of kids that have a heart and love for baking. Lord, may they continue to use their gifts to bring honor and glory to you. May they know more about you through the stories that I told, and may they understand scripture a little bit more. Lord, I pray that these kids not only know about you, but they know you. So much so that they will go out and walk boldly in sharing your love for others. Lord, I thank you for today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I will see you next time. And have a great day. And enjoy those cookies.